Hello, this is Ryan with Fatherly Wisdom. So I'm taking out foraging today. I'm just gonna show you a bunch of plants uh, at this park that I'm at. So this one right here is goldenrod. It's kind of a unique flower. The flowers themselves are actually really small. And I'll give you a brief description later of the leaves. This has um, an anise-like taste. So I'm excited about that. That's a, a love or hate thing for most people. You can make a tea out of it. I believe you can also eat the flowers. I'm probably gonna go with uh, tea. I'm not a huge tea drinker, but that intrigued me. It was something different. Now, right here already, before I've even left the parking lot, we've got several edibles that I covered in my last video. There's a clover right here with the clover leaves. There's a wood sorrel behind it. Over here, there's plantain. We covered that one. And here's a new one for today. This is mullen. Mullen has a fuzzy texture to it. When they're in their second year as a biennial, they get a great big long stalk on them uh, with small yellow flowers. Mullen is edible. And uh, people smoke it for therapeutic reasons or make tea out of it. So this tall plant right here is a mullen. Uh, the seeds on it have been used for many things. And like I said, people actually smoke these leaves. These leaves are fuzzy and easy to identify. And during the right time of year, they get yellow flowers on them that people use for tinctures. Uh, the thing is, usually where you find one of these, you find a lot of these. And this isn't even the tallest one I've found. And it's over my head. This tree right here has a very unique looking speckled berry. It's called an autumn olive. And uh, they produce a ton of fruit, as you can see. They're very tart, so I'm not sure what to do with them. I'll have to experiment with that. Right here we have some rose hips. And they're uh, kind of an interesting looking berry there with pieces coming out the end. And uh, I'm told that those are a lot more palatable and softer after the first frost. So I'll probably come back and check on those. So I pulled this down so I could show you this bunch of seeds on the top here. This is a staghorn sumac. Here's a close up of the leaves. And uh, they take these and they soak those bunches of berries in warm water, not hot, because if you use it, if you get it too hot, like boiling, it'll release the tannin and that'll make it bitter, the tannic acid. So if you just soak it in some warm water, it'll release some uh, malic acid which gives you what they call koala, which is like a sumac aid that you can drink. This is a sassafras tree, which a lot of us grew up chewing on the stems of the leaves. There are three types of leaves, single lobed, double lobed, and ovate. You can also use these leaves dried out to make a filet seasoning for Cajun food or tea out of the roots. Well, thanks for checking out the video today and uh, go ahead and hit like and subscribe and drop a comment. Let me know what recipes you want to see me make, what plants you're interested in, what other content you want. Give me some information guys. See you next time.